My name is David McDonald, and I'm the director of the film Woodstock Revisited and the TV series The Mystery of Creativity. As the 40th anniversary of the Woodstock Festival approaches, you may be wondering how you can celebrate that occasion in a way that's not merely an exercise in nostalgia. I think I have a good idea. My film Woodstock Revisited. A lot of people think of Woodstock as having been some sort of historical anomaly. Three days in the world when peace, love, and harmony took over where other forces usually prevail. The opposite is actually true. Woodstock was a movement long before the festival that took its name. And it started in 1902 when the first group of rugged individualists, calling themselves Birdcliff, moved to the foothills of Overlook Mountain in Woodstock. Their idea was to escape the cacophony of the Industrial Revolution by retreating into their own creativity. And soon, a second group, called the Maverick, joined them on the other side of the town of Woodstock. The Maverick was founded by a man named Hervey White. A lot of people think of him as having been the first hippie ever. When the Maverick ran out of money in 1915, they decided to hold a festival in the woods outside of Woodstock. And for the next 10 or so years, people would come from all over the world to participate in the first Woodstock festivals. Flash forward some 50 years when a newcomer comes to town. Bob Dylan was brought to Woodstock by his manager, Albert Grossman, in 1964. The band, Janis Joplin, Jimi Hendrix, and Van Morrison all followed Dylan to town. And in the years prior to the festival, Woodstock was like a summer camp for rock and rollers, with its own festivals called the Sound Outs preceding the Woodstock Festival. These are probably just a few of the stories you didn't know about Woodstock, but there's way more, and they're all beautiful. Woodstock was never meant as just a three-day event. Woodstock is about how you live, how you love, and what you believe in. The story of Woodstock is never over. Come check out my film and let the spirit of Woodstock come alive within you again 